Hey guys, happy Fragrance Friday. So today I'm gonna go over all the fragrance myths and also, also the lotions or body creams that I have used throughout this week. And I'm also gonna talk about a few other products as well. I have like a perfume and some scrubs I'm going to mention as well that I've really been enjoying. And I'm gonna tell you guys um, how I've been doing it with those as well, but we are actually going to start with last Friday and then go up through Thursday, which is yesterday, and then we will go on to Friday next week. But if you are interested in what I'm wearing today, which is this Friday, I would love for you to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will go ahead and put my handle right at the bottom so you guys can find me over there because I do try to post my scent of the day over there every single day. And I do include like all the products. So I try to put like all the products that I have used, um, but that does not include really the soap that I use or anything. But like as far as perfume, scrubs and all that, I'd actually love to know your scent of the day as well. So please go ahead and comment your scent of the day below, whether that is a perfume or a body lotion, a fragrance mist, whatever it is, go ahead and let me know what you're wearing today because we would all love to know your scent of the day. And if you do enjoy this kind of content and you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to go ahead and take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I do do Fragrance Friday videos every single week. I also do What's New Wednesday videos and I try to throw in other videos as well, like collection videos or hauls or whatever. So I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe. And we are just going to go ahead and get right into this today. All right, guys. So we are going to start with last Friday. So last Friday, I actually pulled out one that I really love. I fell in love with this one. This one actually came out last spring and it did not return this spring and they cleared out pretty much all of this. So I don't believe it's available anymore, but I mean, you could always try to find it at places like Macari or eBay, but this one is Among the Clouds. And I think a lot of people thought this might have been like a really basic fragrance, which it kind of is, but I really truly love this fragrance because of the berries and the vanilla in here. I know we've gotten a lot of berry vanilla type fragrances and a lot of berries, but this one is just so good. It goes with like a lot of things. Yeah, this one just goes with a ton of different things. Um, you can pair this one with different lotions or different perfumes and whatnot. But um, the fragrance notes on Among the Clouds are wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. So yeah, I really love this one. And I did pair it with the matching lotion right here. And I'm kind of bummed they took this one away because it is a really good fragrance. It's very sweet. It is like kind of a wild berry. It's like a mixed kind of berry. So it's not like a specific berry, but it's kind of just a mix of um, different kinds of berries. Like you kind of get a raspberry and like a blueberry and like a blackberry. It's just kind of all mixed together with those berries. And then the vanilla and it kind of blends it all together it's very sweet and i love sweet type of fragrances and i love like sweet vanilla type fragrances and i do love berries so that's probably why i love this one so much so yeah i used these together and then i actually have the scrub for this one as well so i used among the clouds in the scrub and this scrub actually is a creamy body scrub so it's a little bit different formula than some of the other scrubs. Bath and Body Works has different types of scrubs. So they have like sandy type scrubs, they have creamy scrubs, they have enzyme scrubs. So, you know, a lot of their scrubs are a little bit different from each other, but this is the creamy body scrub formula and it's pretty nice. It's creamy. It kind of sets up a tiny bit when you use it. It's not super exfoliating, but it does give you a, you know, pretty decent exfoliation. You guys know if you've been watching my videos, I love tree hut scrub. So I like a really um, tough grain, basically like a coarse grain to kind of smooth out my skin because I just feel like those work a lot better. I don't tend to like the very soapy, foamy scrubs, but this one doesn't get super foamy or soapy, so it's okay and it seems more moisturizing, so I've been using it. It's probably almost used up. It's at least like over halfway. I've been keeping this in my shower and just using it. 
randomly when I forget to put like a scrub in the shower and I want to, you know, scrub my skin, I just use this. But yeah, I was pairing it together with this set. So these match and then the spray. But yeah, I love Among the Clouds. Let me know what you guys think of Among the Clouds as well. I would love to know. So this next one is one of my favorites. So I've really been loving this one. I've just really fell in love with it since I got it. When I first got it, I wasn't too sure about it, but like after the first time I wore it, I was totally in love with this one. So this one is Bare Vanilla Candied. So yeah, it's a really nice vanilla scent. It's a bit different than the Bare Vanilla, the regular one. That one has more of a cashmere note and this one doesn't have that cashmere note. It has more of a fluffy type vanilla. It almost gives me kind of a vanilla extract, but it's like lighter and fluffier. And it's called Candied, but it just is really like a sweet type of vanilla to me. On the back, it does say strawberry sprinkles, marshmallow flower, and nostalgic twist on bare vanilla. So it does say that there's some strawberry sprinkles in there. I don't get much strawberry. I get like the tiniest bit of strawberry, but you know, that's okay. It's a very like sugary, fluffy type vanilla to me. And that is totally what I'm on board for. So I don't mind that the strawberry is not strong in here at all, but you get maybe a slight hint of that strawberry, but it really is more of like a sprinkle, like an artificial type strawberry that's way in the background. You really don't get a whole lot of it. But yeah, Bare Vanilla Candied became one of my favorites after I got it this last winter. That's when it came out actually was winter of this year, this last year. And I did get the lotion as well. And I just love this. I kind of wish I got back backups now because this was a limited edition. So it's not going to be coming back or anything, but it is so good. I totally love this one. Um, to me, it's a lot different than the Bare Vanilla regular one, but I've heard some people say that they can't really tell a difference, but to me, I definitely can tell a difference. And I actually think I prefer the Bare Vanilla Candied over the regular Bare Vanilla, which is crazy because Bare Vanilla is so good, but this one is just so, so good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next day, which is Sunday. So on Sunday, I pulled out one that I have been loving lately. I know this is more of a Christmas scent, but I just keep loving this one. So I keep pulling it out. Where I live, it's not super hot or sunny either. So we're kind of giving mixed weather, you know, back and forth, like some days rain and clouds. And then some days we're getting, you know, like sunny days but nothing super hot or anything like that. So this one is Vanilla Be Noel. So yeah, I can definitely get away with wearing this one because the heat has not kicked in where I am. Um, but Vanilla Be Noel has quickly become one of my favorites as well. And it's really funny because I used to hate this scent because I had one from a long time ago and it smelled totally different. Um, it might've went bad, but either way, this one is so much better. This year, this product was like so good, the scent of it, and people were raving about it. And that is why I actually picked up one on semi-annual seal. And then I just fell in love with this one. So the fragrance notes on this one are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, snow kissed musk. So yeah, it's more of like a gourmand type vanilla and it is more wintry, but to me, I can use this one anytime. I'm a gourmand lover. I love these kind of scents. So as long as it's not super like hot, like summer where it's really, really hot, I feel like I can get away with wearing this one. And to me, it's kind of soothing. It just kind of is a peaceful kind of soothing scent to me. So a lot of times if I am feeling kind of off, I do choose this one because it just makes me feel more soothed and a little bit better. And I am dealing with some like allergies and all that stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys are dealing with that as well. And you know, this is just kind of soothing for those days. It's not like a very potent 
fragrance where it's going to give me any kind of headache or anything like that. It's like I can trust that this one is going to be okay for me. And I did pair it with the lotion right here, which I am actually going through this lotion pretty quick because I keep using this one over and over. So next year, I guess I might have to pick up some more, but this one is just so good. And it became one of my favorites super quick after I got this one. And yeah, after I got the Vanilla Bean Noel a few years ago, I just really did not like that one. So I think the formula was a little bit different this year, but it is such a nice formula this year. It was just so gourmand. And I actually paired this one. I up leveled it a little bit. So I did pair this one with this perfume that I got from TJ Maxx. This is Vanilla Potion. I was actually able to order this online. You guys know that I don't really get into the stores very much because they live way out on the coast of Washington. So there really isn't any malls around me or anything. I have to drive a really long time to get to any place like that. So I do most of my ordering online and through the mail. But this vanilla potion fragrance is so good. This is by True Fragrances. And yeah, I purchased it at TJ Maxx. I think they still have more online if you are interested. This was a perfume that like went viral a while ago. Like so many people were loving this perfume. And someone actually sent me a sample of it like in a little vial. And I fell in love with it too. And then I knew I had to get my hands on it when it popped up at TJ Maxx. Because I thought I just missed it. Like I wasn't going to able to get it like it was gone forever but it actually came out back and so i was able to get the full size bottle and i just love this fragrance it's such a nice vanilla scent on my skin it just kind of turns almost into like a gourmand vanilla but it's not super gourmand at the same time so it's just like a really nice vanilla scent to me this up levels like any vanilla fragrance mist or anything like that like you could use this on top or blend this with a ton of different combinations so yeah i'm loving this vanilla potion fragrance it smells really good yeah it just smells so good it doesn't smell as good just out of like the bottle but when I put it on myself it just smells really really good it just like changes into this really nice vanilla scent that I have been absolutely loving so let me know what you guys think of vanilla potion in the comments if you have this one or if you have tried this one I also really like the bottle. It is like so heavy and nice. Like it's very heavy for a cheap perfume really because this is only like $16.99. So a pretty darn cheap perfume. And this one um, is, I don't remember how many ounces were in this one, but it's got a good amount in there. So yeah, if you miss out, you might be able to get this one on TJ Maxx still. So definitely check it out if you're interested. I know that I have been loving this one. And sometimes when things go viral, I kind of am not totally about it right away because sometimes it's not as good as the hype can be seem like it is so i held off on that vanilla potion for a while and then once i did sample it i just really loved it so yeah how to get that so we're gonna move on to the next day now so we are on monday and i actually pulled out this one this pop jelly version of warm and cozy and i love this fragrance it is so good i think this is my preferred fragrance over just even regular warm and cozy. Like this definitely takes the cake. So the fragrance notes on here are cotton candy, fluffy vanilla, and strawberry gloss. So all the things that I love, I love strawberry scents, I love vanilla, I love cotton candy, and this is just a really nice scent. You kind of get the DNA of warm and cozy like the original but then it like changes into this really sweet kind of scent it's a very very nice sweet scent i love how sweet this is and it's so girly and feminine too it just like is the ultimate candied girly feminine scent to me it's a little bit light so you know you might have to spray a few extra times during the day but it's really really good like, I absolutely love this fragrance. To me, this is so good. It just smells delicious. Like, I just want to smell like this all the time. 
no, it kind of makes me happy too. I don't know. It's probably all the scent notes because I love all those scent notes, but yeah, I've been loving this one so much and I actually used it with the pop jelly warm and cozy matching lotion. So definitely, definitely a really nice scent. It's a little bit light though. So you might want to pair it with a perfume or something like that. If you do enjoy a heavier scent, but overall, I have just been loving this scent. This is from Victoria's Secret's Pink. And I don't know if it's available or not. I think they're running out of the Pop Jelly collection. So you might want to check it out if you are interested. But I know the Pop Jelly collection was pretty, pretty popular. So I went, think it went pretty fast, but there still might be some on the website. You might want to check it out or in store, but yeah, this fragrance is just so good. To me, it's better than regular warm and cozy. Okay. So now we're going to move on to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I pulled this one out and this is a really good one too from Pink. I absolutely love this fragrance. So this is from Victoria's Secret's Pink 2, but this is like an addition to their core line from Pink, I believe. So this isn't like a limited edition like the Pop Jellies or anything like that. This is one that they added that is like a signature scent. So like they have warm and cozy, you know, fresh and clean. Okay, so they added Vanilla and Dreamy a little while ago. And I think it was this spring. Yeah, this spring they added this one and it is so good. So I wasn't sure about this one. I thought it was going to be a little bit too beachy for me just based on the notes. So the notes on here are fluffy vanilla, golden caramel and coconut cloud. And I thought the coconut might be a little bit heavy in this one and take this one over. I'm kind of on the fence about coconut scents sometimes. Like if they just take over a scent, I'm not totally into coconut all the time. Like I don't want to smell like coconut every single day, but this one actually is different. I don't get much coconut in here at all. So it's more of like a, it's more of like the caramel and vanilla. So you definitely get the caramel and vanilla right away. And it almost, in a way, kind of reminds me of the Sunset Gelato one, but it doesn't have that salt note. And it doesn't have like pistachio, but it's more of just the vanilla and caramel. So it's kind of on that same type of scent, but different. So the coconut is really in the background. Like I really don't get much coconut in here at all. I'm really getting mostly vanilla and caramel and the vanilla in here is very kind of fluffy and light. It's not a gourmand vanilla. It's not like a super deep, thick vanilla at all. This is a very like fluffy, light vanilla with a very, almost like a light caramel. So yeah, I've been loving this one though. And I, I just absolutely love this one. Like it smells so good on my skin. Again, it's a little light, but a lot of like pink, products are a little bit light in scent. So you have to use a little bit more of them. But um, yeah, I used it with this lotion and I love this together. Definitely recommend. Um, they should still have this one. So it is a little bit beachy, but definitely not too beachy. I could wear this really any time of year and not feel like it's a total beach scent like something like Waikiki beach coconut that gives me like beach vibes all the way that is like a beach scent to me I don't even like wearing that unless I'm like going out on the beach or it's super hot this is definitely one that can go both ways but yeah I'm loving vanilla and dreamy let me know what you guys think of this new vanilla and dreamy from pink if you have tried this one or smelled it in store or whatever let me know what you think of this one because I absolutely love this one Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next day, which is Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I pulled out one from the Everyday Luxuries collection. I got a few of these and actually in my last Fragrance Friday video, I think it was, I used quite a bit of these, but I'm kind of coming back around to them and trying them out again. So this isn't the first time I have tried this one or anything. So this is Pink Obsessed and... 
I really like this one. I think this is one of my favorites out of the Everyday Luxuries collection. The fragrance notes on here are Blushing Jasmine, Cashmere Praline, and Vanilla Bourbon. So you get a floral. So it's definitely floral. But then when it's mixed with that Cashmere Praline and Vanilla Bourbon, it kind of takes it into this more like sultry type scent. So yeah, it's a little bit like sultry with all those notes, kind of sexy. And then that floral component is a bit sweet. So it's a really nice type of fragrance. Um, I will put the fragrance that this is supposed to be like a dupe of on the screen so you guys can know what this is supposed to be a dupe if you don't know already. But yeah, Pink Obsessed is definitely one of my favorites from the Everyday Luxury Collection, which is very surprising, actually, because I thought for sure I was going to love the Cherry and Vanilla one from that collection, but my favorites turned out to be totally different from what I expected that collection. So, so yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites from the Everyday Collection luxuries collection let me know what you guys think of pink obsessed and since these did not come out with lotions or body creams or anything like that i did use this again so i've been loving this and i keep talking about this in my fragrance friday videos because i've seriously been loving this so this is just the sensitive skin clido oatmeal body butter and this is from bath and body works and it's like from their wellness line the fragrance on this is sheer, airy, and delicate. So it's just a really, really mild fragrance. It goes with pretty much any fragrance you pair it with. So this is perfect. The, the fragrance it has is just like super light. Like it's almost a unfragranced product to me because it's such a light fragrance. And once you put it on your skin, it really kind of just fades in and you know, you can use any kind of scent on top and it doesn't overtake it. It pretty much lets the scent on top shine. So yeah, I love the consistency of this though. It's very, very buttery. It's almost like if you think of, you know, like cold butter or something like that, like the texture of this is really nice. And I love the way of it absorbs in my skin. All right, so now we are on to Friday. So on Friday, I pulled out one I haven't used in quite a while, but I actually really, really like this one. So this one is Sweet Petal Pound Cake. It came out last spring, I believe, yes. And a lot of people were actually disappointed by this one as well because they were expecting more of a gourmand cakey fragrance. And this one does have rose in it. So it's um, kind of like a rose type cake fragrance. So the fragrance notes on here are candied rose, raspberry swirl, and frosted bunt cake. And this, to me, you can get the cake kind of in here, but it's definitely not as cakey as something like strawberry pound cake or something like that. So I think people were expecting something a little different from this when it came out, but I actually really, really like this one. It's got a rose scent, which I can be kind of back and forth about rose scents. Some rose scents I like and some rose scents I do not like. And since this one is sweetened up by that cake and more of like a candy sweetness, I do really enjoy this rose. It's a very muted down rose. You can definitely smell the rose, but it's muted down like with that cake tone but it's not super cakey at the same time. So it's kind of a mild, sweet rose fragrance. And to me, it almost smells more like candied rose than cake, honestly, but I just really like this one. Um, at first I was a little disappointed by this one, but once I started using it, I really ended up liking this one. And I did pair it with the body lotion right here. And yeah, I love this scent. I need to pull it out more. I actually, should be pulling out this one out a lot because right now is a perfect time to be using this one. It's spring, so like floral and then the sweetness. It's just perfect for spring. And it's kind of a bummer we didn't really get much of a bake shop collection this year, but hopefully we'll get some stuff next year, this next year. 
we'll see. And then I'm just going to talk about a couple other products since I did use these. I think I talked about this one last Friday too, though. And this is the Dragon Fruit Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. I ended up picking this one up because I ran out of a different Tree Hut scrub. So I ended up picking up one to replace that one. And this is a very, very fruity scent. So yeah, definitely fruity very very fruity um and that's pretty much all it gives is like fruit like sweet sweet fruit and you know if you're familiar with the dragon fruit type of smell that is what is giving it has these little seeds too that i believe are dragon fruit seeds and it's super cute i actually would prefer it if they hadn't put the seeds in there but it's okay it's just a little bit messier in the shower that way. But I've been really enjoying this one. I love all tree hut scrubs and this scent is nice for spring and summer. So definitely a nice one to have right now. That is still available, I believe. I got mine at Target. So, I mean, you could definitely get this at Target. I don't know if this is like an exclusive scent to Target or not. Sometimes they have exclusive scents to either Target or Ulta with tree hut. But, um, but yeah, I got mine at Target. And then a couple other things I wanted to talk about this right here. I actually tried this out. I got this from TJ Maxx and it's a coconut and vanilla hydrating whipped polish by Shine. And this actually is a pretty good product. It says it's a polish. So I expected it to have like some kind of exfoliation in it but to me it's a lot more creamy than exfoliating so I actually just put this on my body and then I used it as a shaving cream which worked perfectly fine for me and it actually worked really well so yeah I do like this one I'm gonna definitely be using this in the shower and trying to use this one up as like a shaving cream but yeah it's super cute it has the little like piping it looks like frosting almost. It's like piped in the container. And again, I did just get this at TJ Maxx and that was online. And then I did actually um, have this in my combos as well. I've been loving this Coco Shea body oil, using it under my lotions or anything like that. It has a slight coconut scent. Well, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty potent coconut scent, but once you get it on and then you put in like a lotion or a fragrance or a perfume on top, it's not too bad. It doesn't like overtake your fragrance completely. You still might get some hints of coconut, but yeah, I've been really loving using this under my lotions and moisturizers because it's been making my skin feel absolutely amazing. So definitely recommend this Coco Shea as well. And that is pretty much it for this week, guys. So again, please leave your scent of the day in the comments. I would definitely love to hear what you are wearing, what you're smelling like today. And that doesn't have to be this Friday. It can be whatever day you watch this video. So um, yeah, leave your scent of the day in the comments. And if you do enjoy this type of content, I would definitely love to have you take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.